Hey guys. Happy Thursday to everyone. Let me give a couple of seconds to see if anybody wants to hop on. Also, you guys have to forgive me because sometimes I don't see your comments until afterwards and by that time it's you know I'm getting back to you guys late so um, whether you check it out now or watch the recorded video I will make sure to go through and answer any questions um, that you have so um, I know it's midday a lot of people are probably at work right now um, so if you catch the recording that's cool just make sure you leave your comments below um, today I wanted to come on here kind of spur the moment I didn't announce this video or anything and honestly I don't even look up prepared as you can see I'm all hot and sweaty but I had some I was charged up really and a, a old co-worker of mine um, once said to me if you wait for your emotion to die down sometimes the other person won't feel that you're really passionate about it um, of course we were talking about you know not anything related to this but I, I it's still something that resonated with me so I wanted to talk to y'all about um, about some things and just about being frustrated and tired and you know you're on your weight loss journey right and you feel like you're not getting the result that you want to get um, and one I just wanted to address a couple of things uh, First being that you're definitely not alone and the reason why I want to say that and is because I follow a lot of health people and fitness people even before I got into you know this field and it seems like people you know they already got it going on you see people when they've already gone through their weight loss transformation um, if they ever even had to go through a transformation um, cuz let's face it some people are just born like that um, and then other people like me are not born like that um, and you don't really get to feel you don't really resonate with them right because it seems like they already have things going on um, for themselves and that they might not really be able to totally understand what it is that you're going through and so um, everybody I guess I just wanted to say that everybody goes through that no matter what journey that they're on. Um, everybody goes to this place where they feel frustrated and stuck and tired of whatever point that they're in. Maybe they hit a plateau. Maybe they're trying to reach a certain goal and can't hit that goal. Whatever it is, everybody's journey comes to a halt at some point in time where they feel frustrated and tired. So that's the first thing. But I thought about this today because I have, first of all, I want to say that right now, a lot of you guys don't might not even know my journey, and even the people that do follow me regularly, I feel like they may have, um, you know, they've seen me like this for a while, so they, uh, they might not even recall the journey, but mine has been very long, um, and I don't acknowledge that, and I wanted to give that to you guys because you're at a point right now where you might not be 100% happy with where you are but you have to acknowledge where it is that you have come from the growth and the strides that you have made in your journey so far and oftentimes we just don't do that enough and so if you're stuck right now one you should need to acknowledge how far you've gone and how, how far you've come to get to where it is that you want to go um i had a feeling over the last like maybe week or two where i just felt like i wasn't where i wanted to go i i i wasn't making any progress in where i wanted to be and i had to stop and think to myself like right now i i'm the healthiest i've ever been um and i can say that with confidence and not everybody can say that right now but it doesn't mean that people won't be able to say that in the future and i hope that by you listening to this and looking at this that you can see that 
if you're not where you want to be right now, and even if you're not getting there as fast as you want to be there, you can get to that level. And so whatever that is. Um, so for a minute, I was getting down on myself and feeling like, um, you know, I wasn't where I wanted to be. Like I'm at this plateau and I'm trying everything I can think of to try to, you know, get myself over this hump. And trust me, this goes, this, this happens in everybody's, um, everybody's journey where they hit some kind of a plateau. And the key is not being frustrated and, and sick and tired of, of what it is you're going through. The key is really seeking the path that's going to get you there. And, and really that's the part that is the fun part if you think about it that way. Because now you're trying to get to know your body a little bit more. You're trying to figure out what you can adjust to get to your goal. Um, but there's also a point in time where you could feel like you don't know where to go from here. And that's really what I want to hone in on. Me feeling like I didn't know where to go from where I was. Granted, I've gone very far. I did not know how to get past that point and just feeling frustrated with myself. You know, um, I'm helping people out. I'm trying to get other people healthy. Um, and then I too have my struggles with, you know, getting myself to this next level of where I want to be in fitness. Um, so if you guys can relate to, to that, let me know in the comments below. Like if you've ever felt, or even if you feel right now, um, at a point where you just, don't know where to go you don't you've tried everything diets and everything else going to the gym consistently and you still feel like you're not getting to where you go you want to go then let me know and so people get to this point and the first thing that we want to do is one feel bad for ourselves honestly you know maybe a little depressed maybe just feeling like wanting to give up um, and I, I'm not saying that I was totally there because I would, I won't give up um, on anything that I want to do. Um, most importantly, I wouldn't want to give up on anything because I'm, my goal is to help as many people as possible get to their goal. Um, but I'd be lying if I said if I said that there aren't points in in my journey or anybody else's journey where you just feel like, I mean, come on, you know, how can I get to this next level? How can I even see a little bit of progress? And what I really had to do was check my ego and check myself and um, and realize when doing it on my own was really, as, I've done as much on my own as I could before I need to maybe get some help, tap into somebody else or tap into somebody else's knowledge base. And, um, and I've done that in a couple of different ways. Um, so, for one, talking to my, my, my one of my mentors and, and really just expressing how I felt and how, you know, going through these challenges has made me feel was one thing that was huge for me. So, here's my advice. If you are at a point where you feel like you have struggled and you don't know where you need to go or how you're going to get through this last little bit or even just starting, um, plug into a place where you feel safe, where you feel like you can be a little vulnerable, where you feel like you can really get some value from. Plug into that place. If you don't have a place, then go and find one. Um, it is so, so important. I tell people this all the time. Even Oprah has five mentors she has five different places where she can plug into when she feels moments of weakness or where she feels like she doesn't have a direction in a certain certain area of her life and no not everybody is Oprah nobody can be Oprah but Oprah but my point is that anybody who's had success in areas of their life they plugged into a certain place to try to get that nobody's born with the knowledge of everything and you have to go out and, and seek that. But we also have to kind of check ourselves and realize that sometimes we just don't even have time to do it on our own. You know, there are people out there who, who've done the research, who, who have the ability to figure out what's, what's going on or where's the disconnect or 
what things you could change or make healthy suggestions for you. There are people out here who can do that. Um, so if you don't have a place to plug in, then find one. Um, I have my own group of, of individuals who are looking to lose weight and um, get healthy. And this group is specifically for women who are trying to lose weight and, and get healthy. And I, I personally believe in um, regular exercise and eating well, a whole, play, a whole food plant-based diet um, as a means of getting from where people want to go or from where people are to where they want to go. Um, maybe that's not the right place for you. Maybe you don't want to have a plant-based diet. Maybe you don't want to exercise regularly and that's fine. But And there are groups I'm sure out there um, that would be able to help you. But the important part is if you feel like you're stuck, then go get unstuck. And you can't get unstuck sometimes on your own. That brings me to the second thing. You have to find accountability somewhere because if you if you're not holding yourself accountable you have to find someone who's going to be able to pull you out of that who's going to help you get to that next level and if you don't have those influences around you right now then you have to go find it um, and this is one of the things that I do in my program is really working with people who need that accountability, who need that um, structure, who, who need that extra push when they have those moments of weakness. Just like I needed a coach when I had that moment of weakness and just like I plugged into that group when I felt like I, I needed that extra support. Everybody who tries to be successful in anything has a support group and has somebody to hold them accountable to the things that they want to accomplish so like I said if you if you don't already have that and you're interested in knowing a little bit more about my program then I'll link my group below you can add yourself to my group and, and see a little bit more about uh, what it's about and get the support there and if you need that ad additional accountability, then I, I can provide that to you. Now, if you're looking for something else, then go find it somewhere else. That's fine, too. But don't stay stuck. Whatever you do, just do not stay stuck where you are because you deserve to be unstuck. Nobody deserves to be where they are in life if they're unhappy. Um, so I know I kind of went on a tangent and I hope that this resonates and I, I kind of intentionally went on a tangent and didn't have like a script or outline or you know anything connecting the dots for me because I felt really passionately about the this morning I felt very insecure um, and, and kind of emotional over the last you know like I said week or two weeks about my journey and wanting to get additional help and support and sometimes it just means reaching out plugging in getting that accountability and I feel so 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 much better I mean I ran 30 minutes on the treadmill <laughs> uh, almost without stopping you know um, and sometimes that's all it takes for you to get one step closer to your goal so I encourage you plug in get that accountability that it, that you need to get you to your place or where you want to go from point A to point B. If you don't have it, plug in with me, plug in with my group. If, if, if you're not looking for a healthy lifestyle or a vegan lifestyle or whatever, then my group isn't for you, that's fine, but plug into something immediately. So you can get out of that rut, so you can get from point A to point B um, and start living the life that you want to live, how you want to live it. So um, again, I hope you guys found this valuable. Um, and I hope it's not too long and I will um, I guess if you're catching the recording then put any comments down below let me know where you're getting stuck let me know where your frustration is um, I'd be happy to just have a conversation with you down below and um, hopefully find a uh, find a way to get you unstuck um, in the meantime I hope y'all have a wonderful Thursday I'll be checking in with y'all soon and um, yeah Talk to you later. Bye, guys.